Previously on Let's Play Manhunt 2. What do you mean you volunteered for an experiment? Putting yourself into a psycho? What are you thinking? It's a real chance to change the course of medical history. Danny, they're His everywhere. His conditioning is fragile. He's unstable. Daddy, what's wrong? You can wake up now, Daniel. I say, wake up! Judy! I don't believe this shit. What does psycho mean? It just means someone who thinks different. Danny, this is crazy! She's no use to us. She knows more than she's saying. I've got to talk to her Are again. you crazy? He's an animal. And Danny barely remembers who I am. Don't threaten me, Pikmin. I won't do this anymore. I quit. There she is. Stay away from me. No. I need to talk to you. I can't trust Leo. Don't listen to her, Danny. I've helped you all I can, Danny. Don't trust anybody, especially... <gasps> no! It's the project. Move! Uh, no! It's okay. It's okay. I've got you. Come on. Six years later... Another flashback, huh? Lock down those buildings! Nobody gets in or out! Oh, wow, that guy just checked that guy's pulse. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead, dude. He only has half a face. I wonder who did that, huh? Oh. It's Danny Lamb, a.k.a. D-Lamb. Badass motherfucker with a sniper rifle. Hey, they saw us. How the fuck did he see us? I can handle it, Leo. Oh, he's a, he's, he's a badass now. He's assertive. All right. So, apparently, six years ago, Danny Lamb was a stone-cold killer. I guess he's getting trained by Leo, huh? That training Leo's been putting Danny through has been paid off. And now the, 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 the wide-eyed, doe-eyed, innocent little Holy lamb fire. that was Danny Lamb is no longer with us. It's kind of like Far Cry 3, where... You go from being a, a frat boy, grossif motherfucker, to a psychotic killer man. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. I guess Danny Lamb has something in him that's a little disgusting. So, this stage is almost all shooting. It's almost all shooting. Just, just a fair, just a heads up. In case maybe you thought you'd be seeing something a little more interesting, well, I'm sorry, but, uh, <laughs> I, I gotta burst your bubble right here and right now. Uh, let's, let's get started. Let's get started with this, this level, this stage, <laughs> this so-called game. There, fuck you. Fuck you, friend. Fuck all of you. At this point, when I first played this game, I was kind of wondering, you know, is Danny with us? Is Did he go a different way? Uh, I guess I kind of assumed, oh, there's that logo again. The Project Logo. I guess I kind of assumed that it was kind of like a Japanese RPG, you know, where uh, your entire group is represented by one person walking around the map, and you just kind of have to use your imagination, you know. Oh, there's a clock there. Hmm. 12.45. Interesting. It's late. It's far past my bedtime. Let's see if there are any painkillers in here. Yep, there are painkillers everywhere in the Manhunt 2 universe. So, uh... Anyway, in that opening cutscene... Um... We noticed the Danny that was a little more assertive, a little more psychotic, I guess, right? Which reminds me of the point I tried to make in the last video, which is that Danny isn't really as innocent as he first seemed, huh? I mean, maybe it's just the Leo influencing him, but uh, we saw in the last video that... Uh, Danny had kind of an angry streak in him anyway, before he joined the project. So, uh, hey guys, how's it going? Well, uh, you don't want to shoot at me? You don't want to, huh. This guy looks like he needs to take a shit or something. 
Hold it in, buddy. Come on, you're an adult. Just hold it in. So, uh, I'm not really sure what these guys' problem is. They're bugged out. And, yes, I did uh, forget to change some files around when I was messing with the beta files, but that's not why they're bugging out. They bug out no matter what. And, uh, yeah. So, okay, he's dead too. There's no reason to go in here. There's absolutely nothing to gain. Absolutely nothing to gain at all, really. And, uh, except I switched out my handgun for the Uzi. Here we go. And, uh, here's two more people we can murder. And, uh, you know, really, you can skip past these two levels. You don't have to kill these guys if you don't feel like it. You can just hit the button again and go right up to the top. But, uh, if I did that, well, what would be the point? You know, well, so the helicopter's flying around. It's probably not going to see you as long as you don't linger for too long. And, uh, here's the meat of the level, which is traversing the, the, the rooftops. Let's, uh, there we go. Headshot. I have to say, as mediocre as the shooting is in this game, it really is satisfying to get headshots. There we go. But, you know, with the Uzi, you don't even have to get headshots. Okay. And here I'm gonna get a double kill. Watch this. Nice. So, as shitty as the shooting is in this game, it's... They're, they did put in bullet penetration, interestingly enough. Both of them dead. <laughs> uh, so I guess Leo must be some kind of ex-Special Forces guy, right? Or something? I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, in order to be a Special Forces Tier 1 operator, you kind of have to, uh... Yeah. <laughs> The thing about snipers in this game is that they can't hit shit. Um, their, their, their gunfire is less accurate than uh, a guy with a handgun. So, yeah. You know, like I was saying, in order to be a Special Forces Black Ops kind of guy, you kind of have to be a little sociopathic, right? I mean, you kind of have to be able to kill people and not care so much. So, it would make sense if uh, Leo was some sort of, uh, I don't know. David Mason, Soap, Task Force 141, Call of Duty motherfucker, right? I don't know. Um, yeah, I was thinking about doing a whole, like, Call of Duty parody for this, this stage, because there's just so much fucking shooting, but I got lazy. And, you know, I'm not going to kill that guy up top, because, you know, he's not hurting anybody. But fuck you. And... Fuck you. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice. He's dead. <laughs> Show what these boots are for. What? I thought these boots were made for walking, buddy. For walking and dying. Yeah, see, he's not hurting anybody. He wouldn't hurt a fly. You know, he can't shoot for shit. And he's... So, uh, I think at this point, I stop trying to, sh to aim the gun. Because it's not really... Well, okay, not yet. Right. So, the bullets by themselves don't do much damage, but... Uh, it's rapid fire, so of course, it uh, doesn't really matter. Let's finish this guy off. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Didn't even have to aim. Just just pointed... Uh, didn't even point. Just, just held down the left clicking button. And, uh, yeah. He's not hurting anybody. We'll just leave him alone. Okay. So, I guess someone's playing basketball up here, huh? Let's check out these billboards. They're kind of humorous, I guess. It's a soda or something. I don't know. Let's take a look at that one over there. Oh, silent death. Silent but violent. Not to be sniffed at. <laughs> Man zone. Still active. 40-year anniversary. Jesus Christ, these motherfuckers are old. <laughs> and uh, over here is the third leg. And the poster kind of looks like the man with the golden arm 
you know, that poster. I think it's a Hitchcock movie or something. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, whatever. I, I mean, I never saw the movie, just the poster. When I was in graphic design class, you know, all the the teacher and all the design nerds just gushing over how much they love that poster. And I'm not really a big fan of that whole paper cutout stuff myself, but, well, it's just me. I'm really more of a comics guy. Yep. So, here come some more guys. And I think they only appear if you dilly-dally for too long, which is what I did. I think more guys will appear if you keep hanging out, but we're not going to do that. You know, what's the point? I just want to get through this fucking place. Alright. So, uh, you might have noticed... Oh, there's another sniper. He's not going to hurt anyone, right? Oh, there he is. Yep, just, just... Uh, keep at it, buddy. Keep trying. You know, you gotta live your dream. Now, like I was saying before, the first part of the level was really the the most interesting part of the stage. You know, that office building was the most interesting part of the stage. And yet, um... You know, they barely used it, and most of the level was just this really boring, you know, typical rooftop bullshit. You know, I... I know if, if I was a level designer, I'd probably have been pretty frustrated, you know, if I spent a whole Holy afternoon fire. designing a... Over here. So... Okay, you're dead too. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty much giving up aiming, because <laughs> there's really no point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ugh. Oh, you're dead too. You're all fucking dead. You're dead too. I guess I'm lucky that this isn't on insane mode, right? Because I would have gotten chewed up by now, but... Eh, whatever. I mean... I really only like to play on hard if the game isn't bullshit. You know, if the game is bullshit, I'm not going to play on the highest difficulty. I don't care how much street credit gets me on the internet. And there you go. Fuck all of you. You're all dead. There are a couple of melee weapons hanging around here, but there's absolutely no reason why you'd pick them up. I mean, there's no way to sneak up on people, and yeah. Here's a, a buzzsaw over here. I think that's from one of the beta files. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Like I said before, I forgot to switch out a couple of the files. I was going to use the, the modified files for this, this level, but it didn't really make much of a difference. It just, uh, just made things really fucked up. Um, yeah. So at this point, I run into a little trouble because, like this game likes to do, they stuck a couple of enemies behind me, so... There we go. I'll get shot from the upper levels here. Fuck you guys. Alright. Oh god, we're low on health. Oh, the tension's driving me. Really, guy? Really? He's just walking over his friend's dead body. He doesn't give a shit at all. <laughs> Man. You know... Um... Shit, what was I gonna say? Yeah, fuck it. Um... Huh. I don't know. What is there to say? What is it with video games, especially shooting video games, and boring ass, like, offices and garages? Is that because the people who make the games work in buildings like that? Is it because the developers' lives are so dreary, and their workspaces are so abysmal that that's all they can make are boring ass garages? And... Come on, you motherfucker, shoot me. Come on. Come on, shoot me. Shoot me! Shoot me, you motherfucker! There we go. Finally! You see how close I had to get, folks? You see how close I had to get to this motherfucker before he shot me? Oh my god. There, now desecrate the corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Wholesome video gaming, folks. Okay. Yep. Leo, the motherfucking murder machine. I mean, there's seriously nothing that can stop us. These guys are... are, uh... 
you know, fucking uh, world world class super soldiers, and they can't beat Leo. You know, he's just too much for these guys, I guess. With his fucking, you know, Manhunt One was all about sneaking up on people and and you know outsmarting them and killing them with uh, with objects that you could find around the house or in the park. You know, at least in my park, anyway. Uh, but Manhunt 2 is about being an unstoppable super killer. It's kind of strange. You know, uh, Manhunt to me is about desperate survival, not John Woo bullshit, but hey. Well. So here are the last people we get to kill in the level, that is. Not in the game. <laughs> There we go. Double kill. You know, I kind of feel bad about killing that sniper first. I mean, he was the least dangerous guy in the group, but hey. No regrets, right? And I'm reloading my gun for absolutely no reason. And I'm going to pick up all the weapons, too. Yep. It's a lot of dead motherfuckers. Just couldn't resist. There's just something about those exploding heads. So here's where they came in, I guess. Huh. It's kind of weird. Um. I guess that's it. The only thing left to do is go down here. So that was Assassination. And I'm Nick Meister. This is Let's Play Manhunt 2. I'll see you next time.